Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 55. The real number 55. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I didn't make an episode last week just because I was so busy with the fair and stuff. So this is going to be last week's stuff plus this week's stuff. Also, Jesse's right there playing in the floor. I'm sure you can hear him. But, you know, and my mom. It's mom life. <laughs> Alright, I have three finished objects this week and only two whips. Because, uh, like I just said, I just finished up with the fair and all that. Actually, today I have to go get my stuff from the fair. Because of that, I haven't been working on much stuff. You know, I was so uh, into all the fair stuff, trying to get it all done, that I wasn't starting, like, personal whips or anything. But now I can start whips again. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and hop into my finished objects and whips. And then some things that I need to talk about. Because, like I said, today we do have to go get my fair stuff in a little while. And I also have a couple other videos that i got to film today. Uh, one is going to be about fair update. <laughs> There's just his head. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you all the items I entered into fair and what they won. And the other one is going to be a Topic Tuesday video. I posted on my Facebook group about that a few weeks ago, and I'm actually going to start making them now. <laughs> the first uh, finished object is actually still at the fair, so I'll have to pop in a picture of it. It is the Autumn Leaves Wreath by Michelle Wilcox. It is a free pattern. This is one that I made the night before the fair. Um, if you've seen that video, I, that's what I was working on. It actually won first place, which I actually was surprised about because although her pattern is beautiful, I kind of thought mine turned out kind of wonky looking. Like the leaves weren't very distinctive and stuff, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I think it would be a much better pattern if I had chose um, better colors, more contrasting colors. But yeah, it was a pretty good pattern and it was very easy. I finished it you know, in that one setting of like four hours, but it was also late at night, so I was tired. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a good pattern for if you like fall wreaths. My next finished object um, is actually laying right here. It's my Halloween blanket. It's called the uh, Halloween Green Square Blanket by Maria's Blue Crown. This was a crochet along that I did start at the right time frame, but because of the fair and trying to get the Mandela Madness and all that done, I fell behind on it. So it already ended the crochet along, but uh, I went ahead and went, finished this this week after the fair to um, just to finish it. You know, it wasn't for the cow, it was just to finish it because <laughs> I wanted it. But I will pop up a little clip or something of it um, because I can't get up right now to show you because I am wearing sleep shorts. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love this, this blanket. I love this pattern. I love Halloween. I love any holiday really. <laughs> but I really love Halloween and so this will definitely be living on my couch, one of them, during the Halloween season. I love it because it's, it's just granny squares and then you make... Um, different appliques and sew onto the gray grainy squares and then you use the colored grainy squares as like you know contrast and then you sew them together and then you put a border on it <laughs> and uh, it's just a nice size little afghan to be on the couch. Uh, I do plan on backing this with some fleece or flannel or something just I'm going to try to get like either a Halloween color or a Halloween print that I like just to make it more <clears throat> warm and to hide some of the where you can see the colors from the uh, appliques. There's actually like one or two that I just tied on there because I was getting tired of weaving in ends. <laughs> so I'm gonna back it with probably some fleece or something just to give it, you know, a cute background. <laughs> this is a paid for PDF on Ravelry or you can go to Maria's Blue Crown's website and get it for free. My last um, finished object is was for a cow. A cow hosted by Underground Crafter. She's doing a Halloween cow that's lasting through November, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> um, and it's her and like six other different designers, including Heidi Yates from Snappy Tots, uh, are releasing patterns for it and it'll be free for the cow. And you can win pri all kinds of prizes and stuff. It is the Black Cat Softy. almost said Stuffy. It's this cute little cat <laughs> with a scarf on, a very big scarf. Um, I considered making the scarf smaller, but I went ahead and just followed the pattern. But uh, and then he's got an embroidered face, and his nose is crocheted like a little triangle. And then I put green eyes just so that they would contrast. <clears throat> this is playing with his toy kitchen, so it might make a lot of noise. <laughs> but yeah, it's super cute. It's made kind of like a rag doll. It's like a big rectangle, and then you just add the legs and arms and the tail <laughs> and the ears. Yeah, I think it's super cute. I did have this setting in the living room, but uh, I got it out for that video, so I'll be putting it back in the living room somewhere where Jesse, I'm sure, will grab it and play with it. 
This is the Underground Crafters pattern, and it was the first part of the cow. That's it? There you go. There you go. Go cook. All right, that's all of my finished objects, um, which I think is pretty good considering the fair was last week. So I did have three finished objects this week. I have two whips, and one of them is an old whip, and I forgot to get it. It's actually up there. I got to get that. <laughs> okay, my first whip, like I said, is a um, an old whip. Let me try to get it out without messing it up or ripping out stitches or anything like that. And it is a corner to corner blanket that I've been working on for ever. <laughs> but then I, you know, the fair started, so let me find my progress keeper. Last time you all seen it, it was. So I did. <coughs> I worked that much the other day when Devin was flying the drone. Uh, Devin's dad gave us a drone and then he crashed it. <laughs> so he loaned us a little drone and we were just out playing with it. And uh, so I was sitting down working on this while he was flying that. But uh, yeah, so that's where I was last time. Let me go ahead and move that so I don't forget. It's slowly getting there. It's on, you know, it's in the decrease phase. It should be peaking soon. <laughs> I mean, it's, there's not much left. And then I've got another ball that I'm going to make some kind of pretty. I want to make like a shell ripply type um, border, just to make it look pretty. I was going to use just one of the colors in it as the border because I didn't think I had another whole ball. But then I found this the other day um, in my stash. So <clears throat> I've got this much left of the second ball. And then if I need more to finish it, I can just dip into that ball. And then I'm going to try to use as much of it for the border as possible. Just to try to use it all up. So I won't have a random scrap. But if I do have a random scrap, it would make a cute little monster amigurumi or something. My next whip, my only other whip, is another Halloween crochet along that's going on. It's, it's the Made by Mary um, crochet along. And I'll have all the links below for the three crochet alongs I'm participating in. I'm participating in three uh, crochet alongs right now, Halloween themed ones. One is the Made by Mary one, which I'm about to show you. One is the Underground Crafter, which is what the cat was, and then the twelfth, a new pattern will be released. And then the third one is Hillary's. What is it? Hillary's Hook Crochet Community on Facebook. Is one. The Made by Mary one is her vampire amigurumi, which is Vladimir, <laughs> and uh, I've only just started working on him. Where is he? It's living in a tote bag my mom gave me. <laughs> just because I wanted to keep all the stuff in and stuff down in there with it. But so far I've only made an arm. <laughs> I actually have the other fingers but they're in the living room. The other fingers are in my notions pouch which is in the living room but it's just the fingers. So I've got to put them together to make the hand and the arm. And then for the first week I have to finish the arms and hands, the feet and legs which will be easy because they're connected together too. So um, the next part of that comes out on the 12th also. So yeah, so I have a vampire arm. <laughs> I'll pop up a picture of what he's supposed to look like or going to look like. I'm making his skin this light gray color. This is a all of this yarn. I think it's called light gray, I'm not sure. And that's just Red Heart Super Saver White. But uh, in the picture, the parts of him that's red, I'm gonna use amethyst because I thought the gray and purple would go good together. So yeah, that, like I said, that's living in a little tote bag my mom gave me. She was getting rid of it and I saw it and I was like, that'd be a good project bag. And this is good size for something like that because I can keep the stuff in and everything in there and um, still have room to make more body parts <laughs> and all that. So yeah, that is all my finished objects and all my whips. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. You know, I know a lot of people usually take this part to talk about their acquisitions and their life updates, but I really don't have any life updates. It's pretty much the same thing as it always is. I do have some acquisitions that I'll show you. I've already started sewing them, so they're kind of, they're almost bags. They're, they're the panels. But on September 21st, which is a Friday, <clears throat> two Fridays from now, I'm gonna be updating my Etsy shop with Halloween and fall themed bags. That'll be project bags and notion pouches. And um, right now I've just started working on the Halloween ones, but there will be also just fall themed ones and a few other random ones because I'm going to order some more of that sheet material that everybody seemed to like and um, a couple other ones that I've seen people mention that they would like to see in the shop. So yeah, the update day is Friday, September 21st is when all the bags will be going live 
and uh, I think that's what I'm going to do from now on is update my shop once a month just to make things easier on me so I can work on bags throughout the month and then just upload them all in one day. But these are some of the Halloween prints that I picked up already and I will be getting more this coming weekend because I have to drive out of town to get them. Uh, more specifically, the Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas ones people have asked about. Uh, I can't get them anywhere near me without ordering them. I'm just going to go to Joann's or somewhere and pick up some. But this is one print. It's just cute little ghosts and pumpkins. They had the same print with a black background, but I thought the purple made the pumpkins pop better in the black. And this this print I love. I'm thinking about going back and getting some more for me to make bags for myself because it's like a vintage. It looks like the vintage uh, Halloween cards. Let me get a good side of it right here. I love that though because it looks so vintage and cute. But all these will have project bags and notion pouches. That's why I'm waiting to upload them all so I can have them all done together. So if people wants to buy a project bag with a matching notion pouch, they can. Pumpkins. Or jack-o'-lanterns, I guess. This one is another really cute one. Is that upside right? Yeah. <laughs> I really like this one. That's another ghost one. This one's really cool, I think, too. Is that upside? Okay. She's really neat looking. Really spooky and neat. <laughs> and then the last one that I'm working on so far is candy corns. Now I have enough to make two of each of these prints, project bags and notion pouches. And then I have a few fall prints I haven't cut yet back there because, or I cut them but I haven't started sewing them because I don't have the matching liners. I'm going to get that this next coming weekend also. And there will be fall project bags and notion pouches also. <laughs> But yeah, so look forward to all those Halloween and fall themed bags. Like I said, there are more back there. The fall ones are back there because I haven't, I don't have like orange and red material to do in the background or the liner. But I will soon. And zippers. I gotta buy zippers. Alright, the next thing I wanted to mention is the Cakewalk Cow. There's only about one more month left of the Cakewalk Cow. It ends October 14th. So you got a, a little bit over a month to get stuff entered. We already have a ton of entries. I cannot wait to draw winners because it's going to be so fun to see all these people win that I've been watching all these months make stuff. Um, but there's a bunch of entries on my Facebook group and on Mo's Ravelry group. And it's really cool to see how many people have actually participated in our cow. Makes me feel special. <laughs> but um, I'm probably going to have pick four winners. I think I mentioned that. I'm going to have two pattern winners and two like physical item winners. And I have yet to get those together. I am planning on making project bags for the winners. And, um, I don't know, probably yarn and something else. I don't know. <laughs> I got to get that stuff together really quick because, I mean, it's coming up really fast. There's only, let's see here, what is today? Today is September 9th. So, next Saturday will be a month until it's over. But, uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. So, if you work it on anything, go ahead and get it done and get it in either my Facebook group. Um, photo album or Moe's Unseen Strands uh, rivalry group and that all that information will be linked below also also all the Halloween count information will be linked below too there's one more thing I wanted to mention before I close this video is a girl that I found randomly on another uh, crochet group her name is Molly Caraggio did I say it right? it's a very Italian last name Caraggio actually means courage in Italian but um she designed her own, if you know Nightmare for Christmas, which I think everybody does, Sally has ingredient jars where she's trying to poison uh, the doctor. And um, they're, you know, they're like Newt's wart or something like that, frog's breath, I know, and something else. But um, she designed like a mason jar cover for that, and then she made a, a label on it and like, I guess stitched on the... Um, she done told me and I done forgot. She put the label on there and it looks just like her little jars. And at first she just made the jar and then she made the little thing on the top to cover it. I'll pop up a picture here of it. And I'm going to link below also her Facebook group. Or not her group. It's her Facebook page. And it is Crochet by Caraggio. <laughs> I'm so afraid I'm saying that wrong. But I think I'm saying it right. Um, go over there and give her some love and some support. Because that's awesome. She did mention that she may uh, write up the pattern for the jar co cozy. And then you'd have to do your own thing for the label because it's kind of hard to like 
write a tutorial for something like that. I just thought that was totally worth mentioning because I know a lot of us here in this community love Nightmare for Christmas. I love anything Tim Burton. But yeah, I, I just wanted to mention her because I thought that was awesome that she just designed that and shared it and there were so many awesome comments on her picture of other people wanting that pattern. So I'm pretty sure she's, she'll end up writing it up. And even if it's for sale, I will totally buy it because it's just neat. It would be cool to have sitting around Halloween time or even just all the time just as a huge Tim Burton fan. It'd be neat to just have those sitting around, especially like in jars that you can use. You can actually put stuff in there to like cook with. It'd be cool to, you know, cook with frog, frog's breath, but it'd not really be frog's breath. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, I will leave her link below and just hop over there, like her page, maybe, you know, find that picture and comment on how cool it is and, you know, help support her to give her encouragement to keep creating things and to possibly make patterns for us people to buy and make awesome stuff too. I think that's about everything I wanted to mention in this video. I've been slipping through, sipping my water throughout this video in my awesome cup. My Canadian crotcheter. Always afraid of saying that wrong. Canadian crotcheter. And on the back it says, talk soon. <laughs> I love this cup. This is in my prize pack from her. I didn't do a reveal to that because, I don't know, I just wanted to open it and rip into it. And if you're watching this, <laughs> Debbie, I've, we've already I'm devoured kidding. that fudge. It was gone in like two Debbie seconds. I've also claimed Devin's socks because he won't, he don't wear like any socks but black socks. So I claimed those and those are my socks. And also the, the bag that you gave me, uh, I'm going to be putting all my buttons on there. All my uh, crochet Luna buttons and my proper pineapple buttons when they come in the mail. I'm going to stick them all in that bag and carry that around. <laughs> kind of like my purse or something. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's, like I just said a minute ago, I appreciate sure everything I wanted to mention in this video. i got to hop off here and get Devin up. It's time to wake him up and we've got to get ready to go get my stuff at the fair. So I will be filming that video later today. Uh, so keep an eye out for it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, hit the button and hit the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload. And if you think anyone else should be interested in this, share it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.